This better be good weed, Exer. If I don't finish this, like, can I get some assistance? Should I drop the shot in the beer? <sighs> What's up? I'm Rackham. I'm a tattoo artist, part-time therapist, part-time professional NASCAR driver. And I'm about to do this rip, dip, and dive for Playmakers. Let's run that shit. Oh, shit. I don't think I can do this. Fuck, I'm a rookie. I'm gonna have to redo this. Why you put people through that kind of shit, dog? Ugh. That was hard as fuck. Fool. <laughs> Damn. Fuck. Hold on, I need a break. That's how I feel. <laughs> hey, have you done this before, self? Nah. Damn, that shit was crazy. My favorite cereal? I'm gonna have to go with uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That shit's fire, fool. But it got to be crunchy. If it gets too soggy, that shit's nasty. Um, my favorite movie genre? Shit, that's a tough one. Because I fuck with horror a lot, but like comedy is a shit. I fuck with comedy. Will Ferrell, stuff like that. That's that's a shit that I like. Adam Sandler. <laughs> Sometimes I can be like soft and mushy and shit. I like romances too. Like, you know, I'm a hopeless romantic. Fuck. Beer, liquor. I have to go with beer. I love beer. But if uh, I have to, if I have to go with liquor, it'd be like Hennessy all day. I fuck with Hennessy, but definitely beer. If I had to choose between both of those. Hmm. <laughs> fuck. Shit. The worst one. Damn. There's been plenty. I'm just. There's just plenty of occasions. I'm just thinking of which one. The worst one. Yeah, I'll skip that one. <laughs> My first job, it was at a McDonald's. That shit was tight. Working at McDonald's was pretty cool. People talk shit about it all the time. I think it's cool because you're like back in high school and shit. So like you get to kick it with a bunch of females and eat a bunch of food and sneak that shit, you know? Take little breaks, take little smoke breaks. But I, I, my first job was McDonald's. That shit was tight. You know, even though that shit was only paying for my gas. <laughs> Mr. Alwell, even though that food was a dick, he taught me a lot of shit about life. And he was only a sixth grade teacher. So this motherfucker, like, he really cared as a, as a teacher. It was Mr. Alwell at Monta Vista in Whittier. And he frowned upon my art and shit like that, but like, he prepared me for, for the future as far as like having to deal with uh, other people and individuals and shit. Like he taught me a lot about life. And, and I think as a teacher, like even though you have certain, a certain agenda that you need to go by, I feel like, as, I feel like you, if you care for your students, you should teach them about life and stuff that's not on the agenda as far as teaching the kids that you have, you know? If you care and you're a teacher at heart, then you should teach them about life too. <laughs> uh, can I lie? <laughs> can I? <laughs> Fuck, uh, my drug of choice? Uh, I, I would have to go with weed. Nah, wax. I like, I like concentrates. Like, I love weed. But wax, like, that shit just gets me there. That's the shit that I like. I like to get really stoned to the point where I'm, like, focused. 
And like in the profession that I'm in, I can't just be taking little smoke breaks all the time. You know, weed will get me high for like 30 minutes. Take a little wax rip, I'll be high for like a good two hours and I'm focused and I'm zoned and, you know, that's how I get my work done. That's what keeps me sitting there. <laughs> PS4, <laughs> Xbox, what the fuck is that? My favorite book? Damn. The Game of Thrones series, you know, I read all those books, you know, that shit, that shit got me through a little tough period in my life, you know, I, I did a little bit of time and Game of Thrones was like my fucking movie nights, you know, like <laughs> everyone on a Friday was watching movies, I was right there fucking reading my fucking Game of Thrones books, that's just, that's just tight, if you haven't watched that shit on HBO, you need to watch that shit. Chocolate bar? Um, damn, that's a tough one because I love fucking chocolates. You have have you had those like like uh, those chocolate balls with? They're like called Rochellas or some shit like that. If they had bars, it'd be it'd be that. But since they don't, I'd have to go with that Hershey's milk, that milk chocolate, that that Hershey's that that OG shit. You know the shit that you make the s'mores with. I love that. Biggest pet peeve? Damn, there's too many. Pet peeve. Let me see. Pet peeve, pet peeve. Airheads. I don't like airheads. Like, I don't like people that are, like, just so fucking stupid. Like, it's like, dog, like, what the fuck? Like, how do you, like, how can you live like that? Like, you, people that just don't have substance. You got to have some kind of substance. Like, like, at least know where you're headed in life. Like, what makes you think trapping is everything? Like, you know, like, yeah, trapping will get you money, but at the end of the day, that shit, it, there's a day where it's going to end. I don't know, just be somebody with substance, be somebody with a passion, be somebody that has goals, you know, something to look forward to in life. Like, if you're just living your life day by day and, like, you're just some fucking dummy, like, you ain't going to get nowhere, you know, even... If you're rapping, if you're stupid, like, if it ain't smart, it ain't gonna get you shit. Just someone that's not educated, I guess. That's my pet peeve. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Damn, honestly, like, you guys are probably gonna laugh at this shit, but it's just a charger, fool. I would like to have a fucking Dodge Charger. I've always liked how they look. Yeah, that or a fucking Monte Carlo. If I could get that Monte Carlo from fucking, uh, what's that fucking movie called? Fucking training day. If I could get that fucking whip, I'd be straight. You know, like I don't know. Ever since I saw that movie, that fucking that Monte Carlo was a shit that I've always wanted. You know, and I had a time where I I could have bought one, and instead I ended up buying a Honda because it was just more reliable and it was a smarter choice. But fuck, it was only a thousand bucks. I should have bought that motherfucker. Ooh, Ambrose in La Mirada. You need to go there if you haven't. Yeah, I didn't even have to think about that one. Um, New York. You know, I've always wanted to go to New York. I just want to see the Statue of Liberty. Like, I don't know. Like, I've always been fascinated by it. Fuck you, Spider-Man. Pepsi all day. Mm, I get allergic reactions when I smoke blunts. Like, <laughs> I'll smoke I'll smoke a blunt and that shit makes me just sneeze and shit. That's why I roll joints. I smoke joints. Anyone that knows me knows that I'm allergic to tobacco, I guess. You know, like, fuck blunts. Worst injury I ever had. I broke my pinky, you know, I dislocated it and I fractured it. Um, when I was locked up, I, I was playing some basketball and, and like, when you're in jail, they don't give a fuck about the shit that you fucking have, like, as far as hygiene or anything, even down to when you get yard time, like, the balls that, they're just like, 
they're useless, you know. And the basketball that we had had no fucking. Uh, it just had a bunch of air and it had no grip and and like it was just a hard ball and I fractured my pinky playing basketball and like it dislocated it and like the the pain and shit like it was nothing. I didn't really give a fuck about it, but just the fact that it put me out. I couldn't tattoo. I couldn't draw. So like. I fractured my pinky and I couldn't, like, it was my right one and I couldn't do anything as far as, like, artistic. So that's how I got to reading books and shit. But, like, that was the worst one only because I wasn't able to do the shit that I loved, you know? Like, that, like, and, and not only that, like, I had to tattoo to eat. Like, that's how I would make my commissary and shit like that. And, like, I wasn't getting paid, I wasn't eating for like a couple months and that shit sucked it was depressing a sport I'm good at fuck I don't know like I, <laughs> I never played sports food to be honest uh I'm good at handball I could play handball I could play ball as far as basketball like I don't know I'm just naturally good at shit fool like the Atmosphere concert that I went... When was it fucking Ramo? February. I went to Atmosphere concert just recently, man. That I had the best, time of, the best time of my life. Like, that shit was just tight. I was able to be myself and, like, slug Atmosphere. Like, they just... They've been a big influence, influence in my life. Like, yeah, hell yeah. I still haven't met that fool, but I will one day. Fuck all that. Um, nope, I got no rhythm. Damn. Okay, hold on. Probably Lunchables. I love Lunchables. <laughs> I don't know, I fuck with Lunchables heavy. The favorite part of my city. Lewis Block. Shit. There's a song that I play every fucking morning right now. It's called Let Go by Aaron May. I fuck with that song heavy right now. But on a daily basis, like, I, I, I fuck with, I fuck with Exer. I fuck with South Provoke. I fuck with the Wino. Like OH and all of those foods, that's the shit that I fuck with on a daily basis. Suicide Boys, Shoreline. Yeah. And Atmosphere, most definitely. I listen to Sean Daly on the daily. Like, that's my shit every day. Shit, Christmas. I fuck with, like, wintertime, like, it's just family oriented. Like that's the shit that I like. I like family. I, I love my family. I love my friends. They're my family. You know. Shit. Uh, honestly, it'd probably be like fucking uh, French. And, like I just like the way that it sounds. That's just I don't know. It it sounds cool. <laughs> oh fuck with French. Is that a language? Favorite animated movie? Have I even seen an animated movie? Lion King. I fuck with Lion King. I'd be a motherfucking lion. That's what I'd be. Hell yeah. Yeah, those motherfuckers, they're just like, uh, they remind me a lot about me. they just lazy, fool, and they just wake up to eat. Like, that's the shit that I like. I like to eat. I like to wake up. Like, I like to sleep. I like to just kick it. And I don't really like to work, fool. Like, <laughs> who does, you know? Damn. Uh, shout out to my daughter. Shout out to my peoples. As far as my, like, family, my friends. Shout out to Exer to, for inviting me to do this, you know? Um, but, yeah. And shout out to myself for fucking holding on and staying strong, like, E you.